The decision to pursue the, or I should say not pursue the death penalty against suspected serial killer Billy Shermermir has hit some families pretty hard tonight. He was arrested back in 2018. He was accused of murdering dozens of elderly women in both Dallas and Collin counties, stealing their jewelry, selling it for cash. Andrea Lucia today, uh, starting us off at 6, speaking to one victim's family members about the controversial decision from Collin County's DA. All of us in Collin County with 11 victims and 11 cases and not one will ever go to trial. Um, that's where we are and it's a terrible feeling. Cheryl Pangburn's mother, Marilyn, is one of the Collin County women suspected serial killer Billy Shamirmir is accused of killing. He's now serving life sentences for two capital murder convictions out of Dallas County. But in nearly two dozen cases, he was eligible to face the death penalty. It's an option DAs in Dallas County and now Collin County have elected not to pursue. I can't imagine how you ever go forward with a death penalty case in the state of Texas because this is the worst of the worst and the most heinous. In a statement yesterday, Collin County DA Greg Willis made it official, writing, although he is certainly deserving of a death sentence, my decision today is informed by the fact that he has already been tried three times in another county and he will never be a free man again. I mean, it's kind of a cliche, but they're, they're going to die in prison one way or the other. Retired Judge Mike Snipes says pursuing the death penalty is expensive and time-consuming, especially in complicated cases like Shamir Mears. And even when a defendant is sentenced to death, it can take decades for them to be executed. It's rarer now in Texas, even though uh, it's still on the books and it can be pursued. Uh, because of those logistical and financial considerations, it's pursued less and less. In the last 10 years, Texas has executed 85 inmates. In the 10 years before that, it executed 203, more than twice as many. But for the families who will never see a resolution in their loved ones' cases... For the rest of our lives, we have the, the emotion and the feeling that comes with not feeling like we ever got justice. With Shamir Mir already serving those life sentences with no chance of parole, legal experts say the only practical reason to put him on trial again would be to seek out the death penalty. Now that we know that's not going to happen, we expect the Collin County DA to dismiss the remaining 11 cases against him here. In Collin County, Andrea Lucia, CBS News, Texas. Andrea, we thank you very much.